Hey data engineers, data scientists, Pythonistas, welcome back to another in this series on Fluent Python. Luciano Romano's fantastic book on Python features syntax, all of the great stuff about Python. Stick around, we're going to dive into augmented assignment operators in this video on chapter two of Fluent Python. Okay, this is just a reminder, quick reminder to say that if you like these videos, if you don't like these videos, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you if you want if you want to keep uh, receiving these videos on different Python books, different software engineering books, the ideas concepts behind them. We can go through them um, in these kinds of videos. Hopefully, they're helpful to you. So let's uh, with that. Um, and also one final thing, if you want to check out growthtesttube.com, that's where I'm doing more tutorials that will be more in depth, uh, open to individuals to come and check out. And that's sort of where you can find me. So that's growthtesttube.com. All right, now let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's get into our IPython uh, terminal where you, we're using Python 3.6.3. And we are going to be discussing the operators plus equals, times equals, um, and showing you how they operate uh, with different kinds of mutable and immutable objects. So if we have a list, we constructed a list uh, 0, 1, 2, we can expect it, inspect it, um, and then we can add to it. We could do something like list times equals 3, and that'll get us uh, a, you know, repeat uh, the items in the list three times, and that's what it's done. And if we check out the ID of the list, it is the same object still. Now let's take a look at a tuple. Three, okay. So we can take a look at the ID of that tuple. And now let's see what happens when we do the same operation on that tuple. Um, this is a different object. So our initial object, uh, this one, two, three, had this location in memory. The new object is different and has a different location in memory. So uh, you could see you want to be careful along with list of lists in the, in the prior video about unexpected things happening because you have either the same or different um, objects in memory. Okay, so another fun thing about uh, Fluent Python, another great thing about it is that uh, Luciano will give you some riddles in the middle of the code. So he has this one where he says, okay, so we have this uh, this object. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call it immutable. It's an immutable object, so we can look at it. If we can look at the type, it's a, it's a tuple. So what happens if we do something like this on the first object? So on the, the zeroth item, we we try to multiply it by um, by one. We can't do that. Okay. Let's see on the the second item. We also can't do that. Now the third item in in this is a list. So what if I try to um, try to do something like this, multiply it by two. It also doesn't allow me to do it. Um, and you can see that actually it's the same thing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do it on the right, the actual right item. So I can't multiply sequence by non in type. Okay. Obviously. So I need to, I can't multiply a list by list, but I can try to multiply a list by an integer and you see what happened here it gave us an error um, but it, it completed the operation so this is uh, an interesting and unexpected outcome of this augmented what Luciano calls augmented assignment operators is that you can manipulate you're manipulating in place some of these objects and so if it's if it's a mutable object as we saw, you are uh, modifying it in, in place. If you're if it's a immutable object like a tuple, then uh, you're actually creating a new 
new object. So it gives you the error, but completes the operation. And then one thing that, that you learn uh, from this riddle, well, three things that you don't want to put mutable items into immutable objects like tuples. Um, the assignment operation there, the augmented assignment is not atomic. It is doing something and then checking the types. So it's doing multiple things. It's not just doing one singular thing. And then what you can do by importing this dis um, module is actually, <clears throat> actually check out what's going on in the bytecode. And in, uh, in the book, um, which you can look up, you can, or look up all of what's going on in here. It's actually a, f a fun little thing, uh, to go through about. So this is all of the bytecode operations that are happening, uh, with this assignment and it's doing this in place addition before it's checking before it's actually checking uh, and returning the value. So, uh, so that is how it's able to, um, actually complete the assignment of the mutable object in the, in the tuple before it returns. So that's, um, this is the actual bytecode about what's going on in that operation. And as Luciano goes through it, 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 he shows how, uh, this can happen to where the, the operation completes, but it throws an error. Okay, so these augmented assignment operations are very useful. Um, you use them all the time to save some time and to increase your mutable object, increase account, whatever you need to do. Uh, but you should be aware of, of the kinds of trouble that you can get into uh, when using them. So uh, stick around for more Fluent Python, and we'll be back soon. Thanks, guys.